Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to discuss about types of propeller and their working principle and also advantages and disadvantages. So first of all, we will get to the definition of the propeller uh, and pitch. So what is propeller? Actually propeller means which propels something that is called propeller. It can be also found in bacteria. Here is a picture of a bacteria. This is uh, the it is called the flagella. It has got some like a propulsion properties. I mean, it can even rotate at hundred thousand rpm and it can change direction at any time. So this kind of propulsion in bacteria, they are used to propel through the sticky liquid so that they can make their living okay so the uh, this uh, so in our daily life we are uh, uh, in in even air, uh, airplane and helicopter every, everything has got propeller so we all uh, are very familiar with these uh, terms propeller so now what is pitch so pitch actually it it can be defined as the distance traveled after one full rotation of the propeller propeller pitch we can say we can say propeller the pitch of a screw so a screw of a pitch means when you rotate a screw by the screwdriver one full rotation and it will go uh, it will cross some distance so this distance is called the pitch of the screw same way for the propeller so if the propeller is rotated in a solid surface i mean not in the liquid actually in a solid surface if it is rotated it if it is complete uh, completed one full rotation so it will cross some distance so you see here this propeller is start uh, is start rotating and 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 it will rotate rotate and it will uh, finish it will complete it one full rotation so that time when it started it was here position was here when it finished it has finished that time its position is here so this distance is called the pitch it's called the pitch of that propeller okay so the uh, the distance traveled for one full rotation same way for the screw okay and also here uh, here are the some more terms we need to familiar with actually so um, uh, here in simpler terms if we say the displacement or the distance traveled for one full rotation one full rotation of a propeller is called the pitch and similar for a screw is called the pitch of the square as, as as i have said earlier so for example if somebody said that the uh, this is the 50 pitch propeller the, so what does it mean it means that if one full rotation happened this propeller can travel a distance of 50 inch can travel a distance of 50 inch okay but in liquid actually in liquid it, it will never cross 50 inch exactly it can be less it can be more if with the current or with any external force it can be more if against the current or or even not anything against but still it will not cross 50 inch it will cross exactly 50 inch in the solid surface not in the liquid surface so so the difference between the actual and the practical is called the slip so the slip terms actually comes from there okay so now we go directly to the uh, some terms some types this these are the uh, actually main types of uh, propellers so there are so many types actually these are the main main uh, thing uh, these are the types of propeller actually we can find in our uh, various ships boats trucks and the high speed craft so i'll just uh, go into the brief the uh, discussion about those things so the the thing the types of propellers are fixed pitch propeller controllable pitch propeller ducted propeller 
contra rotating propeller azimuth thruster water jet propulsion so we'll go one by one now the fixed pitch propeller so this is the most common types of propeller we can find in uh, in uh, in the ships actually uh, maybe in your right now if you are watching maybe in your if if you are watching from the ships maybe your ship also fitted with these types of propeller this is the most common types of propeller we can find okay in this uh, in this uh, propeller the pitch is fixed actually i mean uh, the uh, pitch is fixed means uh, we already know that if this propeller i mean here i can uh, i'll show you if this propeller rotate one uh, uh, one rotation it will cross some distance this is called the pitch that uh, that actually i have said just uh, earlier so but fix pitch is fixed here that means the uh, the the angle of that blade actually this angle of that blade it will not change that's why the pitch will not change because the pitch depends uh, uh, on the angle of the blade and the diameter of the blade and the some uh, some terms actually here uh, i'll show you later later in my slide there uh, there are some terms the, uh, for um, on who is this pitch is defined uh, varies okay so the the, the fixed piece uh, propeller the pitch is fixed so how can we change the speed so for changing the speed what do we need to do we need to increase the rpm or decrease the rpm okay so this is as simple as it is if we uh, rotate this propeller fast the ship will go fast if if we rotate this propeller slow the ship will go slow as simple as it is so now how can we go reverse i mean if you if if we want to go to stern then how we'll go at the time we'll have to rotate uh, opposite opposite direction maybe say this uh, uh, this propeller is a right hand screw propeller that means this propeller rotate in this way clockwise direction okay so and 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 uh, when it rotate this way that time ships go forward so if you rotate this propeller other way i mean anti clockwise that time ship will go straight so that means if in the uh, fixed pitch propeller if you want to go to uh, go stern from the forward then you will have to stop the stop your propeller first then have to rotate the propeller in reverse direction then you can go to the stern and also as you have uh, and there is a one disadvantage because you have to stop the propeller then you will have to start the engine again then uh, and, and, and every time you start the engine and stop the engine then you are using uh, you are using the uh, starting air uh, i mean in the engine room we have air cylinder for uh, starting the engine with the air so this year you are consuming very fast with the fixed pitch uh, propeller i mean okay so uh, this this is the one kind of disadvantage with the fixed pitch uh, propeller and another thing advantage is that if you stop this propeller there is no speed no momentum nothing um, um, uh, and the the uh, pitch is fixed so uh, just uh, only you have to do what you have to do you have to just uh, increase or decrease the rpm to go more uh, uh, to go fast or slow so that is all about the fixed pitch propeller and this is the most common types of uh, propeller we can find okay so uh, then uh, we go to the another another types of propeller that is controllable pitch propeller cpp actually so we also have uh, we you can find uh, so many ships actually nowadays it is fitted with these types of propeller controllable pitch propeller so that means pitch can be controlled so you mean that means that uh, if you say this propeller this propeller if rotate one full revolution it will cross maybe say 50 inch so 50 inch is the pitch for that propeller with that condition so now what you can do uh, you can 
change this angle you can change the angle of this blade so if you change the angle of this blade and that time after one full revolution it will not cross 50 inch it it may cross more if you change the angle more and if you uh, if you reduce the angle then it it may cross the less maybe 30 maybe 20 inch so that means you can control the pitch so this uh, this shifts this this kind of shifts actually what what happens actually that the propeller never stops once you clutch in the temp propeller will start rotating maybe uh, right hand or left hand whatever it is it will uh, rotate in the same way same direction okay uh, all the times and the revolution also fixed so only only what you can do if you want to go ahead so you will change change the angle of this blade so you can control this angle of this blade if you change this angle of the blade maybe the ships will go to the fo forward ahead so if if you want to go to stern that time you change the angle other way then it it, it will start going stern so there is no need to stop the engine actually okay and no need to uh, change the direction of the rotation just only you need to change the angle of the blade then you can go ahead and you can go stern this is as simple as it is but there is a some uh, disadvantage for this disadvantage is that one is that it is cost it, it is not cost effective actually number one number two there can be so many leakage you see there are so many because the uh, the blade is rotatable I, I, I mean you can rotate this blade and there is some uh, ceiling something like that so it can any time can leak so this is one kind of uh, disadvantage and another most uh, one another kind of uh, disadvantage is that uh, uh, in uh, when you go uh, go for birthing or or, or uh, unbirthing that time what happened uh, if you give order for the zero pitch i mean you make the uh, angle of the blade zero and the pitch becoming zero but actually practically it will never be zero you see there is a some kind of movement either in the forward direction or in the aft direction so you 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 can never practically get the actually zero speed with the controllable pitch propeller this is a one kind of very big disadvantage of the controllable pitch propeller and another is uh, another thing is that maybe say uh, your ship is barred and now you want to cast off so uh, suddenly you just clutch in your engine that time and the pitch is zero of course and that time this uh, this propeller will start rotating but as the pitch can never practically be zero so it can have actually sudden forward forward uh, speed or uh, uh, stern speed and if the rope is not tight then it can have some kind of momentum and it can make uh, the some ex accident can happen so the, the, this is the thing very we, we need to be very careful about when using the controllable pitch propeller okay so another types of propeller is the ducted propeller so ducted propeller is a, a it's not very common but actually you can find in some uh, uh, ships being boats actually also so this propeller actually it is used when there is a limitation for the uh, diameter i mean you cannot make the uh, make the uh, diameter of the blade i mean you, you the blade is not too big so but you need thrust so what you can do we can uh, we can make uh, some uh, duct around it this duct will not rotate but the propeller will rotate you have to remind uh, you have to remember the duct is not rotatable that the uh, blade the propeller is rotating so when the propeller will rotate and uh, as the, this duct duct is fitted around it it can increase the efficiency if uh, it can increase the efficiency of the uh, thrust actually so therefore uh, therefore uh, uh, with the small small types of propeller uh, still you can get a more thrust this is the one kind of advantage with this with these types of ducted propeller okay 
so this is the ducted propeller and another type of propeller is the contra rotating propeller crp in brief actually so there is a two types of propeller uh, one uh, one 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 is rotating if if one is rotating this way another will is rotate this way in opposite the opposite uh, opposite way it will rotate with each other and uh, they can perform better and they will uh, provide better thrust than the uh, conventional uh, propeller so this is a one kind of advantage of, with this propeller contra rotating propeller this is actually seen in a very big type very 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 big vessels actually you can find so one kind of advantage is that it is the better thrust and the other kind of I mean the disadvantage is it is not cost effective okay so this is the azimuth thruster this azimuth thruster actually we can see in the uh, tugboat and the fast rescue boat we can find this uh, azimuth uh, this types of uh, azimuth uh, what should i say azimuth uh, thruster and uh, uh, actually uh, in some merchant ship also you can find this kind of thing uh, so uh, the one advantage of this thruster is that you no need radar no need any steering equipment okay the propeller itself will act as the steering okay and it can rotate 360 degree remember so that's why you can move anywhere anyway you no need any radar or no need any steering equipment and the one advantage of this thing is that it is the very having very high maneuverability it can maneuver very rapidly can move very rapidly i mean it, that's why it is used in the tugboat and offshore supply vessel and fast rescue boat also you can find this kind of things with azimuth thruster okay and then finally the last one is the water jet propulsion water jet propulsion is like uh, the plane actually we see in the plane or the helicopter we can find the uh, the in the no uh, actually not in the hel helicopter sorry i'm sorry but in the plane uh, you see they they uh, they use this uh, jet engine the, uh, the jet engine what it what it uh, uh, what it does is say this is the jet engine and uh, this is the jet engine so what it uh, what it does it it collects air collects air and and it will expel the air with a very high speed very high speed it will expel the air and for that reason as there is a difference in momentum so in the forward direction these things will get a thrust so by this thrust plane moves the same way the ships also moves but it is not using the air it is instead of air it is using the water here you see these are using the water so it takes water and it it expels the water with very high velocity and it gets a momentum thrust and with this thrust the ships moves ahead and vice versa if if you do the other way the ships will will, will, will go to the eastern okay so today that's all actually uh, this is just a very brief discussion uh, but the, there are more more to it but this is just mainly mainly main types of the uh, propeller i just discussed here thank you very much